Exploring the world, traveling to islands, deserts, and even to the tallest building in the world, just with you and your family and your dog on a yacht. Have you ever thought about venturing out into the open world instead of just staying indoors? Well, the novel Kintsuki's Kingdom by Michael Mapurgo has it all. A quote saying, life must not be spent always hoping, always waiting. Life is for living. When you are in a difficult situation, you shouldn't keep on waiting and hoping for someone to save you or be miserable, depressed, and sad about it. This is life. You should make the best out of everything. Life is for living happily. Michael and his parents decided to seek adventure with Stella Atua, their family dog. They bought a yacht called the Peggy Sue. One night, as they were heading up through the Coral Sea towards Papua New Guinea, a disaster strikes. Michael and his dog fell off the yacht, but something did save them at that night. He wakes up on a deserted island the next day. He struggles to survive on his own on the island. He soon realized that there's someone who was watching over him the whole time and even keeping him alive. He soon meets the mysterious Kintsuki who brings Michael into his world as they become close friends, teaching each other cultures as well as language. The theme of this book is acceptance. Michael knows English and Kensuke knows Japanese. Even though they communicate by sign language, they only have each other in the island. Acceptance teaches them both ways to accept each other because the two cultures are very different. As well as acceptance, the book portrays the theme of care. Michael one day got stung by a poisonous jellyfish as he nearly lost his life. But Kintsuki found him and dragged him to shore. Kintsuki saved his life and took care of him. A solitary man lives on this island. If you want to know his story, I recommend you to read this book. Or even know, will Kintsuki and Michael be saved after all or get stranded on this island forever? Michael tells us in his own words how he learned to become friends with Kintsuki and exchanging language and culture and how separation becomes